Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathologic. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in the house of someone. Well, not in the house, but next to the house of someone who is gonna die. They're gonna die because I'm let them I'm gonna let them die, and I'm gonna save the um, Yulia, and she's gonna be alright. And uh, we have basically nothing else to do today. Isn't that lovely? I say it is, so it is lovely. Let's see what we have over here. Hello, sir. Uh, thank you very much for that bandage. I'm very, a very big fan of that. Thank you very much. And where are we going? Well, we could go and have a fight, a fistica fight over there. That's that's one thing we could do before we go to sleep. I don't know where I'm gonna sleep. Uh, maybe where Aspidy lives. Does she have? Oh, I don't like you. I don't like you, and you don't like me. And uh, good reason for both of those things. Uh, there's also a lady over there that will fix my stuff. Yeah, we could go ahead and, and, and fight, although, speaking of, of fixing my stuff, I probably shouldn't be wearing it. Uh, my um, immunity is kind of in the dumps right now. Hi, she doesn't talk. Oh, yeah, I think we talked to her before. Okay. My immunity is not in the best of, posi of places to uh, right now, so I'd rather not have to deal with uh, with a plague again, even though we're in a plague district. Or not a plague district, a ninja district. Um, okay, there's these giants. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, it's this way. And hopefully we'll find people who uh, who will sell us things. Oh, I just found an amulet. And repair our stuff as well. Not just sell things, but repair our stuff. Okay. Yeah, but I th basically we're probably going to just uh, sleep and uh, and wait until the... Is it the termitary or the abattoir? I never remember which one. I think it is the termitary rather than the abattoir that needs to be open. Okay, that guy scared me. The rat over here, bit of an issue. There we go. The two... Oh, we got a bunch of those guys down there. I'll get them. I'll get them because it's good. It's, it's good to have money. Hi, guys. Oh, I got a... A letter, I assume. Come here. Oh, yeah. I am so bad. Oh. That's why I save. That, that, who, who died? Who said... Mm -hmm? It was me who died. Let's go over here. And, uh, yeah, this is why I save. Because otherwise... Just... Well, need to need, we need to restart from the beginning, and we just got a letter as well, so I could I could read that while I'm fighting this guy. Let's do that. Huh? Oh, maybe I haven't gotten a letter yet. Maybe I'm about to get a letter. And there it is. Okay. Strange guests are walking around my your house from Iron. Oh boy, I'm uneasy around them. Please come back soon. I will, but let me kill these guys first, cause they are nasty. One, two. One, two. Thank you. Go and kill that other guy over there. You're absolutely, absolutely useless. Uh, so where can we go? Can we cross over here? No. So let's go around the houses. I think I can go right over there. Oh, there's rats. I'd rather not deal with them. I can also go. Oh, hi guys. Okay, I don't. I'm sort of a little bit lost. Yeah. Okay. We can deal with this. I can deal with this. So we need to go back to the west to try and save Ayan, or what's her name? I don't remember. Ayan, indeed. Um, because apparently there's strange creatures or tr strange figures? Did she say figures? Guests. Oh, guests. Hmm. I hope the game is not pulling my leg there. And it, uh, they are indeed guests. Her guests. But then again, wait, she meant around your house. Is it around inside? Because that would make the guest theory more likely. I'll still go through the south, because I don't want to go through the infected districts. Th today is going to be the last day we have knowledge about where... Well, at least we have a, an infection map, anyway. Not necessarily knowledge about where the infection is. But, um, yeah, because Burak has been sent to prison. And, uh, yeah, well, I say prison. Ooh, that's bad. I say prison. Not necessarily prison. Not really sure what happened to him. Okay, you guys keep having fun. There's a lot of fighting over there and a huge rat. What's the rat gonna do? Huh, just fighting people. Maybe fighting me, for all I know. Okay, so, save the game there. Uh, so we are going in the right direction. 
and avoiding the wool issue. My exhaustion is very high, but I think I'll have time to reach. I should have time to reach there, no problem. Uh, and and fight whoever I need to fight. If I do indeed need to fight anybody, because maybe around the house is not actually around, but inside the house, which is still said around the house. Oh, they're around the house, sort of not you know outside and around, but rather inside and around. And there we go with. I don't know what to say about this track, about this, you know, soundtrack right now. I like it, but it's got... It's a little bit too much ambience, and the claps are... I'm not a big fan of the claps. That sounds... I don't... You, you know what I mean? The... Yeah, there's a couple of claps there. So yeah, it's definitely... There's definitely claps. Oh, it's gone, it's gone away. I like it. I think the step one is my favorite. I don't remember exactly. There's a criminal running. So I am in risk of being attacked. But what I want to do is I want to see if I can go back, well, on, on the way back to Ion, if I can go back over here and see if I can unearth the well. Wouldn't it be cool if I found like a, an entrance to the abattoir, a secret entrance? Hi. There are no leaving here. This place belongs to the dead. Uh. Wait a minute. I know that. I've come to pay my respects to the dead. But he is not dead. You had uh, your opportunity to stop this. Stop what? Nothing can be changed now. I didn't do anything. Isn't he didn't die? The inhabitants of this place is dead. He died? He's officially dead. Well, rest in peace, I guess. That's... Oh, hi. Hi. That's not necessarily what I wanted. Okay. Go away. Uh, is this... That end? It is not. Okay. Where are we going? Can't go over there. Can I? Look at this thing. Oh, it's like the reaver thing. Oh, there's a lot of flames. Can I go up? Cannot. Wasn't expecting to. Never gone up ladders before. So there was something... Let me keep an eye on things. Okay. I can deal. Okay, you're gonna die, sir. Oh, he killed himself. That works. My health is very low. Can you please go away? Thank you. Did you... You really... What a big jerk. What a big jerk. Just killed himself for no reason. Man. And didn't give me the loot. That's the problem. Oh, there's kids over here. Okay. There's nothing. Hello, Mr. Kid. What is up? Are you the stranger? No, I don't think so. Okay, I don't need that. My health is an issue and I really need to heal because I don't know if I'm losing health. It looks like I'm regaining it, actually. I don't see anybody around. Hey, Ion, are you around? Oh, crap. Freaking hell. Scare the crap out of me! Hey, I have this terrible headache. Do you? Do you? Don't you tell me about these guys? Hey. Ah, what a lovely lady. She welcomed us. She talked to us. Children are not allowed to be in contact with the kin people, you know. Forbidden fruit and all that. It is the sweetest one. Is it the kin people? What do you mean the kin people? Um, who might these petitioners be? What, these guys are petitioners? Hmm. Uh, let's go with that. Petitioners indeed. Well, see, we've heard all about your efforts. So, well, we've decided to set up embassy here. We've been told all about your plan to sterilize us all. What? I didn't. Who told you this drivel? Um, wrong wording, I guess. I meant cu curing us. Yeah, making us healthy, that is. Distributing protective pills. Wiping us with spirits. A gargle with mouthwash, if you please. Yeah, that that's not gonna... Mm -hmm. Bathe your feet like a good kid you are to avoid the infection and stuff. Uh, well, yes, yeah, see, uh, yes, I, I did indeed have such a plan. Uncle Bachelor, we don't need vaccine. The order was the Inquisitors, but you'll be held responsible. Don't. Uh, it'll be a simple waste of precious medicine. Better give it to our families. We'll, we're all healthy up there. Healthy and healthy we will remain. Hand on heart. You mean you don't want the vaccine? What? What is that supposed to mean, young man? 
Our tower is magical. It protects us from the outer world. Oh, these guys come from the, the tower to the north. Yeah, everybody knows that, duh. And we're like, you see, if, if you care about us so much, I don't care about you. Did I say about, did I even, I didn't. I just mean to give you vaccines. I don't care about you guys. I, and certainly not so much. Better bring us some dry blue fire that doesn't burn paper. You've come from another place after all. Do they have that kind of fire there? Uh, the, what? I have no idea what this dry blue fire is all about. Uh, it sounds fishy. The tower? Magical? I think it, this demands a thorough inspection. Please don't! Can won't let you in! You're contagious! I... Uh, no, I'm not. I'm contagious? I'm infected. I'll cure myself. No, 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 no. We don't need any of this. I'll... I'm... I'll... I'm telling you. The tower is specular. It's made of mirrors. Mired? Sure. Um, that reflects the disease back out. Uh, I don't believe you. And I don't see any miracles there anyway. Oh, just ask anyone, even Capella? Yeah, go pay her a visit. She doesn't believe in the tower's miracles at all, but she'll provide you with proof, all right. She won't lie after all, which means her testimony is the most reliable one, I guess. Uh, all right, I'll talk to Capella. Okay, I will need to... Oh, boy. Hey, Ian. You really don't talk to you. Okay. I'll need to heal. Which shouldn't be a problem, actually. Uh, because I have plenty of uh, bandages. That I'll do that. And I'll look at my infection level. I mean, it isn't amazing. But, you know, it's not bad. Let's go upstairs. And dump a few things. So. I'll... I can't take... What is that? Panacea. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'll take these. I could take that as well. Then again, I don't know. What is this? Are these Delta tablets? And these are the better ones, aren't they? Feromis uh kills the microbes, suppresses their growth. And then this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to take anything. Okay. So we really... Oh, we're not going to be able to sleep. We need to go back to Capella. It's the worst. Oh. Oh, that was me saving the game. So we got a quest, of course. The emissaries from the tower request that I leave the tower and its residents alone. What? I never even went up there, as if I was pestering them all the while. Of course, that's what I mean. Um, all this while, they say that everything is perfectly well inside the tower, and that Olgimsky's daughter will confirm it. This serves more to increase my suspicions, yeah, I figure, um, than, uh, than to curb them. Only yesterday, the same kind of assurances were offered with regards to the termitary. I need to speak with Capella. I do indeed, and the problem with Capella is that she is in the middle of a plague district. So I'm gonna need to figure that out in a little bit. Hello, do you have anything for me? Ooh, got some of these things, don't you? Those are easy to get, or easy to take. Uh, I could do this. I could take that. Yeah, I'll take the blue ones, because those are the ones I'm taking, I think. Okay, nothing over here. And uh, you guys don't have the ladies that, oh boy, this is gonna be how am I going to get there? Well, actually, going straight ahead and going through the park is probably the shortest route. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with uh, regards to the flamethrower guys. Because they attacked me. Or that guy attacked me. I, it, I'm kind of surprised I wasn't able to... Um, I wasn't able to, um, to kill him with one hit. But... Um, but they attack me, so maybe that triggers the game into thinking that I'm infected or something. I doubt it. But you never know. Okay, so we're getting back to the ninja district. And we're going through the through the park. And then turning left. The park is a good place, because it also has a bunch of this stuff. And also rats. What? It's not a rat. It's fighting me. It's that guy over there. What you gonna do? One, two, one, two. The rat is an issue. Okay, there's no rat. Good. Okay, good, good, good. I hear kid. Oh, I'm still fighting. Whatever, it's all good. I'm not. Uh, there's a cop going over there. Uh, so I probably want to go this way. Let's save the game just to be sure. 
There's just a lot of people diseased, but that's all in the Plague District. And here it is relatively safe. We have a little rat over there. They didn't see me yet, which is a big surprise. Hello. Oh, crap. You guys really shouldn't do that. Those people deserve to live. Or not. I'm not really sure. I have no idea. Are they contaminating other people on purpose? Because I'm trying not to. Also, I don't see any flamethrowing guys. That was the luckiest thing. Okay. Let's talk with Capella. See what she has to say. Health and exhaustion are an issue. Infection is not. It's still so early. Hi. The winter comes soon, I hope. They... They say, young lady, that you are somewhat skeptical towards the peculiar qualities of this uh, polyhedron, the tower. And who says that? Oh, um, just, you know, <laughs> people. <laughs> no, it's inhabitants. But that's how it... That's not how it is, she says. You cannot ignore the obvious. The tower does manage to perform truly breathtaking feats. And yes, by the way, I am sure that the disease being of particular interest to you or any other evil from outside cannot get into the tower whatsoever. It is evil enough on its own. Uh... What, what feats, for example? What, what evil? What? Wait a minute. What? I'd like to know more about this inherent evil, the young lady. I admit that the tower can perform miracles, but I do not believe it's miraculous by nature. It's dead, you see. It does not live. That is why it can do what it does. A living person would see just how blasphemous it is. Uh, how in the world is it blasphemous? Yes, the tower deserve, uh, preserves childhood together with all its magic, but you cannot grasp a miracle and hold it in uh, or hold it mechanically. You cannot treat the miraculous like that. A miracle can only reveal itself through a living person, like my mother, and be born of magical power, not of rationale. Uh, so does the tower do it rationally? The Canes have set up a seditious experiment. The Stamatins brag that they had overcome the laws of gravity and Euclidean geometry. The what? Oh, the, I see, the Euclidean geometry here being the, uh, you know, the architecture and stuff. Uh, the Stamatins, I, I was, when I read Stamatins, I was uh, thinking of Saburovs before that. They're neighbors, but no, the, she means the, uh, the architects. Whilst in reality, it was the Canes who took it upon themselves to attack the laws of sorcery and the miraculous powers that stumble upon our world from time to time. While the Stamatins were building ladders, the Canes were creating Foki for magic. Uh, what's wrong with that? Isn't it wonderful? I don't know. You are brave and my duty dictates caution. It's getting more and more frightening by the minute. The reckoning is yet to come, if it hasn't already. The tower defies the very nature of miracles, you see. It imprisons them. That's why the wisest children have already left. Wait a minute, what, they have they? But aren't they safe in there? How curious. Which ones? Apart from you, that is. Taya Tichik. Uh, the mother, for instance. A five-year-old kid worshipped by the kin. They call her the Mother Superior. She was merely a careless killing in the tower, and now she is in charge of the termitary and the 5,000 souls inside. Have you been there already, by the way? I'm worried about her. Oh, yeah, I have. If you happen to come by, please give her this medicine and tell her that I, me, personally, it's important, uh, that I told her to take it if she ever feels unwell. She will trust me, otherwise they'll keep taking those horrible yellow pills, the only ones they acknowledge. Wait a minute. Will she trust you? Because she kind of killed your brother. Should I trust you, more to the point? Okay, so... I don't think she will ever tell the... tell lies, but she can lie with while telling the truth? Let's see, if you happen to come by, please give her this medicine. Oh, it's okay, so medicine can mean poison. And tell her that I, me personally, it's important. Okay, so that would be more in the line of, you know, she wouldn't trust it if it weren't for her, from her. Told her to take it if she ever feels unwell. She will trust you. But then again, if, if, she, if you say that she should take it if she feels unwell, maybe that means it's like I'll take it to prevent anything. So she, if you really want to poison her, I guess this wouldn't be it. Um... Interesting games in here. I don't know what what uh, mother is gonna say, but um, but yeah, sure. I'll I'll trust her. 
And this tower of story of yours was uh, most engaging. I'm very happy I've decided to drop by. Please come by later to tell me how it went. It means the world to me. All right. Oh, and she gave me. I feel two a things. current in my veins. Yeah, it's blood. It's 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 blood. No, not that. Not this either. Okay. It's this. So she gave me the fair. Oh, it's the same ones. Okay, it's the same ones that we had before. So this is dangerous because we are gonna need to go. No, actually, we're just outside of the. Um... I, I like the the sound of those. Doesn't touch me. Thank you. They're not seeing me though. Which is kind of a shame. Because I wanted to test my uh, my infection. Although it didn't show up on the up upper right corner, so I think we're gonna be okay. But um But yeah. I'm not sure. If I should trust Capella. This is the first time she's actually saying anything. She said something about trusting her before. No, it wasn't her. That was Maria. She did say something about that as well, I think. I think Capella had a line of premonition. Had a line where she told us about what was to come. I think she did, but I forgot about that. I forgot exactly what she told me. So, let's see. You, sir, don't have bandages. This is not Stamadin's pub. Or is it? No, it's just a place. I think. Okay, we're not gonna fight. We're just gonna go north from here. And it is already 2 p.m. Eh, I say already. Still 2 p.m. We'll have about 3 to 4 hours of sleep. And then uh, at 11.30... I think it's 11.30. We need to go in there. I'm, maybe we're gonna be able to sleep inside of the cemetery. That would definitely fix things in regards to sleeping. Although, well, I don't really have much choice in regards to when I sleep, because because I can only sleep for one hour uh, straight anyway. So yeah, there's not a lot of wiggle room there. Okay, so let's go to mother. She's on the upper floor? Or is it the second one? Or I guess third the, it's the first one. Because there's three three levels, right? And then it's it's the ground floor over here where we are right now. And then above that, is it the first floor? Or is it the second floor? Because it always seems I, I know that I think it's Americans that do that say second floor up there and this is the this is the ground level. And you don't have a first floor. Because that is the ground level. You can say first floor, but it, yeah, this is not Mother's Place. Hey, guys. Uh, you were here before, weren't you? Can I talk to you? No. I hope you were here before. Those guys were, for sure, because I remember seeing them run away. Our exhaustion is still holding up, which is a big surprise, actually. Let's see if Mother says something about... Uh... Oh, this is not the way. About the uh, little Vlad that she killed, apparently. Hi. Lyra is a head taller now. Yeah. <laughs> um, Victoria sent these drugs to you. Um, she said you must take them if you ever feel unwell. Are you sure? It's not real medicine, she says. Oh, I see, I see what she means. You mean like the panacea that you're selling over here? No, it is. it is real medicine. Well, I mean, it's not the same. It's real, just unusual. Well, Capella told me you should take them, if you ever get sick, alright? Well, alright, but only because Capella says so, I would swallow a bumblebee for her. Don't... that's not... that... you're not... You're not really giving me any inspiration that this thing is good, if you're comparing it to a bumblebee. It's a good girl, I suppose. Oh, her reputation has gone right up. My right eye is only half closed when I'm tilted. You're... what? <laughs> I have no idea what she just said, um, but I think I completed that quest. Did I actually complete? I think I did. So Capella asked me to give the medicine to Warden Tichik's little daughter, this extraordinary child whom the beastly crowd of primates obey and uh, serve as they would serve a little goddess. Apparently the children's mysterious influence in the town extends much further than the Kane family. Interesting. 
uh, and the Termitarian Polyhedron, these polarized structures stand at op opposite ends of the town. They are antithetic of each other, regardless of your perspective. I failed to protect the Termitary, and I have neglected the Tower of, the ch of Children. I can only hope that it does not fall to some mistake. Interesting. So I made a choice there. Okay. Well, little goddess, huh? Well, it's not very common that we see, you know, little gods rather than big gods. Because, of course, the animalistic instinct of bigger is better from, you know, because you get beat up by big, so bigger must be better. Um, that just usually being related to gods, just enormous and all that sort of stuff makes more sense than the little gods that are little. It's not something I... I wish I, wish I were a writer or something. Or... I don't know, just had a lot of people to write for me instead. I would just write a book about a little gods that live among us. Actually, those probably exist now that I think about it. I remember seeing... So we need to go back to Capella anyway. And that's probably where I'm going to sleep. And I'm also going to end the episode because we're out of time. But um, I remember seeing... Oh, we keep getting more. Out of Specs Choice. Ooh. Let's read it next episode. Because for right now, I'm Colonel RPG. And this has been Pathologic. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. Oof. And I hope I'll find my way around here. Bye-bye. <laughs>